name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time either or welcome back okay so today we are going to do a review on the Alight illusion foundation it is a luminous nude skin feel Ooh, nude skin feel it is an all-day broad spectrum SPF with sunscreen this one is in warm beige L4 so this is supposed to be all day wear and we're gonna see how that works I found this uh, foundation from Flower by um, L. L's last name is escaping me, so I will try to remember to put her link on her video below. So the Light Illusion, I'm wondering if it's not the Light Illusion because it has a dewy look. So literally, I put this on. It's been, it's actually been about an hour and a half. And it has a very, yeah, it's a dewy look. It's kind of shiny. And that's just starting the day at an hour and a half. I'm a little slow, although I shouldn't be. I've had caffeine. So let's get back to the foundation. The foundation pounced on really nice. I did have to use more pumps than I thought I would have had to use, but the pumps came out not thick kind of uh light pumps as far as how much product it put out so i think it kind of evens out in the end the foundation covered nicely as far as any redness and color corrected all my issues below the skin i did use sharp sharp tart shape tape underneath because I, I did get a little worried with when I was putting this on as far as the dewiness and the glow on it so I went ahead I felt like I needed to up my game as far as concealers go I couldn't just use kind of a inexpensive everyday concealer so that's what I did underneath my eyes but yeah it's gonna be interesting because like my forehead looks glowy now the tip of my nose, I did put a little bit of a highlighter on. I actually, in hindsight, hindsight's always 2020. I wouldn't have used a highlighter on my cheeks or the tip of my nose, period. Because again, I'm seeing kind of that glowy look on my chin here and here. And I did powder. I'm not going to touch up throughout the day. I may try to take pictures throughout my work day. I have a... Um, kind of a light work day I say that loosely I'll be in one spot with a group of people so it, it's not like I'll be hustling and bustling and in the elements the weather is very cool here in Dallas today so to get this kind of dewy shiny glow already I'm I'm kind of thinking this won't be a summer foundation I may be a Debbie Downer so I just need to probably shut up try because I can't read the future, although I think I can right now with this, this foundation. So anyways, we are going to do an all-day wear test and see how this foundation goes. Elle said this flower foundation for her replaced or was as competent as some really high-end brands and that she was pretty excited about this one. And I felt like she even thought that that was kind of a new holy grail if I remember correctly. I may need to watch the video again, but again, I'll try to put that link below. Okay, so anyways, let's wish flower luck today. It might need some flower power. Peace, love, and recycle. <laughs> Crack myself up. All right, so here we go. Okay, we're gonna start out with the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray, like always. Just like that primer spray and today we're going to use the flower light illusion this is a luminous makeup nude skin feel hmm how does your nude skin feel this is an all-day wear um, it's broad spectrum SPF 18 and I'm trying this in warm beige so let's see what this does it's got a nice little pump it's one fluid ounce I saw this review on L. Leary's channel and she was so excited because she felt like it was going to replace a lot of her more expensive foundations. Okay, it's bouncing into the skin nice. It's got kind of a luminous glow. Seems to be sitting more on top of my skin. 
as I look closer. Okay, I'm a little worried, a little worried. Look how luminous it is. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but it's shiny. Okay, so I have the rest of my makeup set up on this. It, it still has a glowy look to the foundation. In fact, I don't think I needed to put any um, highlighter on, but I did anyways. And so, yeah, it's got a, a very kind of dewy look starting the day. So it's going to be an interesting all-day wear test. The good part is I'm me in meetings with just my team. So if my face ends up being a glow bug, it's all right. It's only my team. It's like family. So we'll see how this baby performs. Go okay, flower. it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. It is, I don't know why I just said that. It's 734. I've had this foundation on for a while. And it performed like I thought. Totally different than the Revlon Candid. Um, this one definitely performed like I thought it would by the end of the day. So there was no flower power. All right. I don't even think we need to get up close and personal to look at this mess, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay. So my eyes are a little hot mess. I, um, did get some good news and, um, I've been crying. So, um, excuse the red eyes. I just had uh, some really good news. So anyways, there are blessings in the world. But aside, let's keep moving. We're talking about flower power. All right, so this does look oily, and it did look oily, you know, from the get-go. You can see my nose is missing on the sides. It's kind of gathered in the side of my nose. Look at this chin. It is an absolute modeled mess. Like, what a difference this foundation did for my oily skin versus how the Revlon Candid worked. Totally different. That said, yeah, I, I called it this morning. That is for sure. I think this Flower Light Illusion Foundation is going to be great for women that have dry skin. Uh, I think it will look great on the skin, give a nice little dewy look. It will hydrate during the day. For the weather being as cold as it is, I've got a sweater. And for anyone that knows me, I stay hot. So for me to have a sweater on, it's got to be cold. And for it to be cold and to have this kind of a face and a mottled mess, yeah, not good, not good. So... If you all have used this Flower Light Illusion Foundation, please let me know what your skin type is and how that performed on you. I'm really, really curious. But it definitely, to me, seems like this is a foundation for dry skin. If I had dry skin, I, I think this would be a great, great foundation. But uh, for my oily skin... It just didn't pass the test. No. Well, I hope this helped you. And um, again, I can't wait to hear your comments Thank below. you so much for watching this video today on the Flower Light Illusion Foundation. I hope you enjoyed the all-day wear test. Is this foundation for you? Is it something that you are going to purchase or pass on? I would like to hear your thoughts below. If you have used the Flower Light Illusion Foundation, kind of what were your thoughts on it? How did it, how did your skin do with it? Also, I'm kind of curious on this foundation. When you put your comments below and you, if you've used this foundation, can you please tell me if you have dry, combo, or oily skin? I'm dying to know. I am dying to know what your skin type is if you've used this. So anyways, I just wanted to um, thank you all for visiting this channel again. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So come on back, y'all.